So here we are at Iber Styles Na Train, and this is the twin room that the girls are going to be in. Actually, I've got to say, I'm quite surprised at the size of them. I thought they would be uh, much smaller and tighter. Unfortunately, the time we spent in Nar Train, the weather was not great, to be honest. Most days were windy, cloudy, overcast, with scattered showers, but it's still a great destination, even in the bad weather. So, whenever we go on holiday, I love getting to have a whole breakfast. Today we're at Vin Wonders here in Nha Trang. You've got to catch a boat over to where the theme park is because it's on an island that only has a resort and a theme park. So let's go. Okay, welcome to Vin Wonders, Nha Trang. Let's see what's going to go on here. Get some rides. Not quite sure whether Beck's going to repeat her screaming from from Vin Wonders in Fukuok, but we'll see what we can do. There's also a water park here at Vin Wonders in Ha Trang. Uh, weather's not really good at this time of year, so we won't be going to the water park, but if it had been hot, it would have been fantastic. Hey guys, we've reached the King's Garden section here of Vin Wonders in Na Trang. It's a bit of a zoo section, so we've just seen some flamingos. We're going to go and explore and see what other great animals there is to see here. I've got to say, I'm a little bit unsure how I feel about the... Uh, zoo area here at Vin Wonders, like some enclosures have a lot of space, some are very small and some of the animals look like they're sort of institutionalised, just pacing back and forwards with nothing to do. It is, it's kind of sad in some ways, um, so I don't know, I don't know about zoos anymore, I don't know if there's a place for them, I mean you need them for conservation but other than that, I don't really know. Let's go, girl. <laughs> Heading up the Alpine coaster here in. Nah Trang, it goes way, way, way up the hill here, so we like the old toboggan ride, so it should be, can't wait to actually start heading downhill instead of going uphill. One of our favourite things about Finn Wonders was the after dark water and light show. It was simply stunning as they made the water dance in front of your eyes. It was truly memorable. Well that concludes our day here at Vin Wonders in Nha Trang. We've been here for about eight hours. Totally enjoyed the experience. Great day out. The beach is looking a bit rough here in Nha Trang today. We've got a no swimming sign out because some fairly big waves rolling in along here today. It's always a really good idea. Something that we've learned in Australia is for people who can't swim, it's really important to actually obey what they say in a foreign country or in a different country, especially if you can't swim. You don't actually know what it's like here. So it's really important. If it says no swimming, you probably don't. One of the places I really wanted to come to when we were coming to Nha Trang is the Louisiana Brew House. Really love trying the local craft beers wherever we go, so we're gonna go and have a look.
Wheat beer? Yeah. Wheat beer is one of my favourite. Okay, so this morning we're out exploring more of Natrang and we're heading to the Dam Market. It's called in English anyway. I'll tell you one thing, it's definitely steaming in here. There's a lot of food and food items for sale. to be where a lot of their local restaurants come to buy their dry supplies and sauces and stuff like that for the day. So here we are at the front of the dam market here in Natrang. Okay, so that's shopping done at the marketplace here in Natrang. He says that, but we might come back tomorrow. <laughs> So this is our street that we stayed on here in Na Trang. Lots of ladies saying, you want massage? You want massage? Now this has been my favorite place to sit of a morning and an afternoon here at Ibis Styles Na Trang. Hey guys, this morning we're at the Ponagar Temple here in Na Trang. Very reminiscent of something you would see in maybe Cambodia or even Thailand. Apparently it was built around the 8th century, so definitely some history here to explore. Okay, so tonight finds us at Tamarind on the seventh floor of this building. It's a rooftop bar and restaurant. Okay, so we've just received our food here. We've got a uh, tikka masala, a couple of butter chickens, and a lamb rogan josh. Everyone is busy tucking in, so. I think we've found a winner here in Na Train. <laughs> okay guys, here's the swimming deck here at Ibis Styles Na Trang. Look, I've waited to the very last day to film this and it's really not the best day to film it because it's raining, but this gives you an indication of what's up here. So there's a little pool for kids, there's plenty of chairs and sun lounges. You've got sort of an infinity pool there with the glass wall that you can have a swim in. During the busy times, there's a bar up here. So this is the uh, night market that's along the beach.
pretty much a lot of the same things that you see at the dam market, but I would say at a more expensive price. Everyone's selling hats, lots of hats, lots of shoes. Good morning guys, it's about 1.40am and we've arrived at the Natrang train station, ready to head up the coast for 13 and a half hours towards the where. We loved our time in Nha Trang. It was probably one of our most favourite places in Vietnam to visit, and that's saying a lot because we really love Vietnam. Nha Trang was excellent for families, the theme park, the beaches, there's enough food, restaurants around, shopping. Uh, look, it's probably one of the best places to visit in Vietnam.